Hey, hi, hello. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess. Tell him your name. Tell him your name. This Nigel, he's a grumpy grump. And welcome to technically an episode of Book Community where I try to keep you abreast of the goings on in the bookish community. And Nigel does what he wants. So, I know you're probably like, girl, why is this video so short? And what you mean technically? So, this is an announcement video. So it's technically tea, it's my tea. I got something to tell y'all. And I hope you're excited. Some of you may not be. A lot of you may not be, that's fine. I'm excited. So anyway, I wanted to tell you that I'm starting a book club. <laughs> so I've had a few people ask um, over the months if I would start a book club. And I was always like, no, because there's so many book clubs out there that already read the genres that I read. So I'm like, if I wanted to, I could just participate in their book clubs. They're already established. It just doesn't make sense for me to do that. And I thought about it on and off. And so not like this doesn't already exist, but hold on. I really be telling y'all to stay moisturizing. Here I am with ashy hands, okay? I just wash my hands a lot, it's annoying. Anyway, <laughs> okay. So I'm starting a non-fiction book club. Like I said, it's not like it's so unique or doesn't exist, but it's definitely something that I want to do. M multiple reasons that go into this. So recently I've been reading, I read a non-fiction book with Elle from Elliot Brooks. And then right now we're also doing a buddy read of another non-fiction book with two other people. And I realize how much I enjoy talking about non-fiction with people like as I'm reading it. A lot of non-fiction books that I've read previously, like I'll post about on Instagram, people are like, oh, they read it. You know, maybe they read it a long time ago or maybe recently and we, we talk a little bit but I want to read them with people. So I wanted to start a book club. And so I told a few people and I was trying to think of names. And so I cannot take credit for the name. I don't know why it did not come to me, but I would like to shout out Mara from Books Like Woke for coming up with Book Communa Read. It makes so much sense. And yet I did not think of it. So that is gonna be the name of the nonfiction book club. It already has a Twitter account that I set up. So I probably will be following random people that I already follow from my personal Twitter account. I'll have it linked down below and it'll be in all of my videos in the description with all of my social media as well. So book community read, like I said, nonfiction books only and it'll be every other month. So for the first month, I wanna start in July. And for the first month, I chose the book mainly because there was, I was like, oh, I wanna read this book with people and have a discussion. But after that, I'd want it to be like, we vote on a book. And I think that every other month will just give us more time, like, so you don't have to read the book super fast, give you more time if you wanna buy a used copy, get it from your library, whatever. And then have a live show like the beginning of the following month. So for this instance, the book for July, we would have the live show in the beginning of August. And then we, during August, we can make suggestions and vote on what the September pick will be. And then that gives people time to get the September book. Then you have all of September to read it and then in October <laughs> October we'd have that live show so on and so forth and I'm gonna have all of this information will be on the Twitter so I'll be posting like what book we're reading then we can vote on the live show date and then I'll keep sharing that information and then that'll be where the polls for the books and suggestions all of that will be on the book community read twitter account so i wondered about a discord i don't know y'all let me know if you plan to pitch participate in the book club do you want a discord or just the twitter account and then i know some people for book clubs have discord so you can like chat while you're reading it like actual while you're reading it or I mean, you can kind of chat on Twitter, I could do like threads or we could do reading sprints, maybe a couple times during the month where you can join with me and we can read and then during the breaks, we could talk about the book. So this really is like I have certain things set in stone, but I'm willing to take suggestions and, and hear out what people if you pop if you plan to participate any ideas that you have totally open to that. So Starting in July, the read is going to be Conflict is Not Abuse by Sarah Schulman. So you're asking why this is the book. And the subtitle is Overstating Harm, Community Responsibility and the Duty of Repair. So this is an older title It came out in 2016. Mara recently read this and I became really intrigued listening to it during her wrap up because she said it would 
she would love to have a discussion you know with other like booktube creators because it kind of talks about I think it's like the relationship online of when people are maybe called out for something or um, someone acknowledges that maybe something you did was harmful and like how it can some people say that crosses the line to abuse I'm probably explaining this really wrong but like the blurb on Goodreads says from intimate relationships to global politics Sarah Schulman observes a continuum that inflated accusations of harm are used to avoid accountability illuminating the difference between conflict and abuse Schulman directly addresses our contemporary culture of scapegoating so I just think it could be an interesting discussion especially in booktube community she did say like it's not like the best thing she's ever read and she didn't agree with everything but there were some really great ideas that are worth discussing so I wanted to start with that one and you know with book clubs sometimes everyone loves the books sometimes it's split sometimes everyone's like this wasn't it so <laughs> this is just a start like I said this will be the only one that I'm like hey we're reading this one unless you know I feel profoundly that we need to read a certain book at a certain time but after that it'll be voting so let me make sure I checked my notes I told y'all what the book club is called we're gonna be every other month our first pick is conflict is not abuse by Sarah Schulman and I'll link it down below but feel free to get it from wherever I did order a physical copy and I'm going to also get the audio um, Nigel will listen to the audio hey are you gonna read he said he's gonna listen to the audio with me and I'll be making notes in uh, the physical book. So I already made a Twitter. It's book commuter read like just straight up. It'll be linked down below. And then yeah, just tell me your feelings on if you want like a discord is the Twitter enough? Would you want reading sprints? Tell me your feelings. And then once people start following the Twitter, we can uh, I'll be sharing more information there. And then later on, um, towards the end of July, we can come up with a date for the live show in August. And I definitely doing these live shows don't want it to just be me. So for this one, I'm definitely at least gonna have Mara or I'm gonna ask <laughs> Mara to join me. And then you know, if other people, um, maybe I don't know how many people is too many for a live show, maybe up to like four or five, you know, depending on who reads the book and who wants to participate, I would love to have people join in the live show. So I love doing lives and like talking but then I'm also like it's a lot of me talking. So I would like other people to talk and hopefully we can have a really interactive chat during the discussion. And I just hope in starting this nonfiction book club that it encourages people to read more nonfiction, maybe if you just you feel like it's not for you or you don't feel comfortable or you don't want to read it by yourself that this can encourage you to pick up some more nonfiction. I'm excited um, with having the voting aspect to get ideas from nonfiction that haven't come across. Um, my my vision my timeline that aren't on my list to read a whole range so it doesn't have to be limited to ones you know on um, race and stuff like that it could be not the whole the whole gambit just non-fiction books and so i hope those who maybe are hesitant or don't read as much non-fiction join us so we all can just just become even more well-rounded educated folks in our community that's my goal so i hope some people are excited. I hope that you join me again. I'll have all the information listed down below. Tell me your thoughts, your opinions, feedback, things. Tell me things. So conflict is not abuse for July, but you're gonna have all of July to read it. No pressure because you know, there's a lot of things happening. Life happens, other things happen. So uh, what's today? June 15th, 14th? Oh my God, it's June 15th. We're already halfway through. We're already halfway through June. Okay, we're already halfway through June, so get your orders in for your book. <laughs> Even for me, if I order it today, it'll be here by July, but again, you'll have all of July to read it. We won't do the live show until the beginning of August. So I think that's it. I feel like I'm getting into the territory of repeating myself, but I hope y'all are excited. Please check out my description. I'll have all that information linked below, uh, the link to the Twitter and my own personal social medias, Nigel's <laughs> Instagram if you're interested links to things that are going on in the world and ways for you to educate yourself. Um, I'm trying to always add in links. Please know that some of these things that I'm sharing, I don't identify with. I'm not an indigenous person. I'm not from Palestine, but I want to share these resources as jumping, a jumping off point, a starting point where you can learn more about it. And then hopefully you take your research from there. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, think about subscribing and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Nigel. Nigel, tell them bye. Whoa!